This ferry is a fixture of Newcastle Harbour, darting back and forth, dodging coal ships and other harbour traffic. And this is the first woman to take to the helm. I never really thought it was an option um, until I saw other women driving boats and I thought, well, maybe this is something that I could do and I would like to do. She's not the only woman working the ferry service and when Elise first steered the ferry with Grace Sullivan as her deckhand, they realised it was a special day. When we first started that I was like, oh, this is the first time we've had just two women like, running the vessel and um, so that's when I thought we should um, take a selfie. That ended up on social media and got a lot of attention and really happy to say a lot of it was really, really positive. Women are poorly represented in the maritime industry, making up an estimated 1 to 2 per cent of those in seafaring roles and 5 to 10 per cent of jobs in the port sector. So they would be lucky to be, you know, five women seafarers out of 100 vessels a week in this port. Like, I think I'd be over-exaggerating how many would visit here. After becoming Newcastle's first female harbourmaster, Janine Drummond co-founded the Women in Maritime Support Group, which offers a shoreside network for women already in seafaring and hopes to make the industry more visible to young women. I think that um, saying about you, you can't be it if you can't see it, it's very true. Um, people don't even think to look to become a harbour master um, if they're a younger woman and they haven't seen a woman in that role. She'd really just like gender to be irrelevant to it all. I just would love to be known as um, the harbour master as my male counterparts have and I look forward to a day where um, that happens because that is the measure of success. We're just as capable of doing those jobs as men are, um, we just don't know it yet. Hoping to inspire the next generation of female mariners. Karen Thomas, ABC News, Newcastle. Thank you. Thank you.